I noticed you've been working on the car again. Do you think it'll be ready soon? I don't know. One month, two months, year 12 graduation. I... <laughs> Probably that long now I'm working on my own. But I thought John was still helping. He is. At least he was, but I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't now that the way Mum's treating him. Now, besides, I'm not sure I'm that interested. Dave, you can't be serious. That car is awesome. Who are you kidding? You hate the car. <laughs> A gas-guzzling polar ice cap melter is how you usually describe it. OK, well, I'm just... I'm worried about you. I hate seeing you this upset. I thought maybe you'd be cool using it as a wedding car for Mum and John. But now that's not going to happen, so like I said, what's the point? You know, for someone who was a card-carrying Palmer hater, you've certainly come around. Yeah, well, I guess I've got used to the guy. And he did make Mum happy. Until the whole marriage proposal thing. She might still change her mind. I doubt it. <laughs> They're the two most stubborn people ever to be born. This is really getting to you, isn't it? Yeah. I could do with some cheering up. Really? <laughs> I mean, she keeps going to school earlier and earlier. It's like she's hiding out there or something. Oh, love, I wouldn't worry too much. Bianca's a big girl now. She probably just needs the time alone to think. <laughs> that would be a push. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. She, she acts on impulse and then thinks about stuff later. Thought she would have learned her lesson by now. Well, I'm sure she'll be the first to holler if she needs our uh, help. No, we live in hope. Um, I've got to go. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Uh -huh. See ya. What? That detective must be crazy. <laughs> yeah, come on. There's no way someone like you could kill Pat. For starters, he's way too heavy for you to carry him out. Unless, of course, you had some help. Can you two at least try and pretend like you think that I'm innocent? No, we do, but you have an alibi, so what are you worried about? No, but that's the thing. I don't. I was in my room studying all night, and apparently that doesn't cut it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, tell me about it. Look, anyway, I've got heaps of study to do, and I'm sick of thinking about Penn, so I'm going to go. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, Nicole. Yeah. So do you think she did do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you think about getting your peas, you'll have more of a reason to finish the car. No, thank you. I already have enough on my plate as it is. Say, getting your license really can't be that hard. Ruby's just about to go for hers and even Bianca's got one. And besides, I can come over after school every day and quiz you on your study skills. Are you saying you know more about cars than me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and maybe while I'm there, I can talk to your mum. You know, woman to woman. I think I might be able to help her with the whole John situation. Can't hurt, I suppose. Speaking of mum... Right. You go keep her occupied while I go to find John. Hey, wait, what do you mean, occupied how? Girl talk. Hi, Mrs. Austin. Oh, hi, April. Um, where's Xavier? Oh, uh, well, he just went to get something that he needs for this afternoon. Is it OK if I wait here with you? Yeah, sure, that's fine. What do you think they're talking about? You. Oh, you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> but your romantic one. And how long do we have to sit here like this? A few minutes more. We don't want to upset them. I find it strangely alarming that Xavier is so concerned about our love life. Well, he cares about me. And you care about me, otherwise you wouldn't have waved back. Is that a fact? Yeah, it is. I'm sitting here to humour my son, that's all. Oh, come on, Gina. How long can you keep this up? We love each other, yeah? And you're treating me like, like you hate me. I don't hate you. But if we don't have any future together, then I need to distance myself. It's the only way to get through it. Well, if you have to work so hard to keep away from me, you must have feelings for me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're wrong. Well, you're kidding yourself. No, you are. We'll see about that. Poor Zave. Ever since Gina and John broke up, all he does is spend every waking minute trying to get them back together. That's funny, because all you do is spend every waking minute trying to break your sister and her fiancé apart. Oh, so he's still your fiancé then? I don't know. Bianca, it's been a week. How long are you planning on keeping this poor boy waiting? I thought you wanted us to break up. Well, no, I just want to make sure that you're making the right decision. <sighs> of course, I would be happier if that decision came down in favour of Liam. Sorry to disappoint, sis. 
So he still hasn't called then? No. Apparently I'm not worthy of an explanation. But Vittorio, on the other hand, has flown halfway across the world. OK, well, he wouldn't have flown halfway across the world if he hadn't cheated on you first. Well, it's got to mean something. How are you going to be at school? No, I'm going, I'm going. Dex, what's with the shades? Don't you like them? No, they're very, um, what, Top Gun. I was hoping for more Dirty Harry. OK, no, I, I see that too. But why would you want to look like Dirty Harry? I'm trying to impress a very particular chick. And Dirty Harry said cool things, had cool weapons, and wasn't afraid of crossing professional boundaries in the pursuit of justice. OK, but do you really think this chick is going to get all that from a pair of sunglasses? And, well, what about the pet shop girl? Is that over? Obviously, otherwise I'd be wearing all black trying to impress her. Adrian and I are still friends, but this new girl, she's something else. Which is why I have to wear cool sunnies. And skip school. is you've got two options. You take him back, you forgive, you forget, and you move on with your life. Or you don't forgive him, you don't forget, and you move on. Look, Only without him. I know. If I take him back, then I have to forgive him. All right? I do forgive him. That's not the problem. It's the forgetting part. I just keep thinking, what, what if he does it again? Well, so he's given you his word, though. Oh, he gave me his word last time, and yet he still cheated. OK, and I just keep thinking, like... Why didn't I see it coming? It was at your engagement party. No one expects to be cheated on at their engagement party. And it was with his ex, so technically you could say you already had a vested interest in her. Not helping! Sorry. OK, but you know what I think? I think you've made up your mind. You're just too scared to admit it. Oh. And, um, uh, try not to run into any more students. I promise. <laughs> 